What scared you about starting the business? I mean, A, I had absolutely no idea. I was cold calling different small businesses, trying to get help wherever I could, going to farmer's markets, meeting people. It took us two years just to figure out how to get this thing legally bottled. We knew we weren't just gonna try to be like the farmer's market guy. We were actually gonna try and get this thing in such a level where it was all above board and we could sell it to restaurants and stores and it would be compliant. But yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. It was like literally, I mean, I'm talking, calling up Tabasco to ask if they had advice for me. I said we sold our first case in 2011, but it took like two, three years for us to just try to get to that point. And living in an apartment in Los Angeles, trying to rent a commercial kitchen to make it ourselves was too challenging at the time. So we actually started the business with co-packers and we had two different co-packers packers that were making the product for us. And not only that, I had zero control over my product. Like yeah. I, I really was, you know, here you are writing checks for $15,000 and they're doing you a favor and making you realize that they're doing you a favor.